as i shared in my last week analysis for gold you can see that there was a price pressure on the upside and we can see a retracement this time it has breached 1980 levels and in fact had a tilt towards the next lows at 1970 in fact if you see higher lows and higher highs are still intact on the weekly charts for gold does it mean that it is still bullish and it can fly or we can still expect a drop next week this position you should take trading gold next week we will see with the help of charts followed with indicators towards the end i will summarize and conclude by giving you the trading levels and strategy do watch till the end do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis also you can do that by joining my telegram channel the link is mentioned in the channel and video description let's start first let's have a look at the weekly charts and uh, rather let's start with the daily charts and if you look at the daily charts first of all see uh, the movement here on the last 5 days of for the week you should note lower highs are seen higher lows are seen this is still trying to consolidate in the last one week in my daily analysis i have told you only buy only reversal entry is if it trades about 2020 yes if it trades about 2020 there is going to be little more bullishness it failed to do so it went close to 2010 plus plus levels but again retraced that is the first point second point is consistently first look at the movement here one red green red green and increasing red here so the week ended with a slight bearishness though it failed to break past the previous highs it is still in a consolidation phase that is the first part on the daily chart second observation you can see connect the dots here you will find a beautiful line there which is indicating higher highs higher lows there this is a bullish channel or a bullish flag you can see because see previously there was a long tail long pole out there let me draw it for you look at this and look at this beautiful flag here so it is still in this bullish channel it needs to break out either which ways in order to confirm the bearishness now what is going to be a breakout yes for the next week if you see trading below 1975 70 levels possibly below which it can still show a little bearishness and i will specifically wait for it to break past 1940 50 zone if it does it is going to give you a very very good drop in fact we can see again see there is a gap here if this might get filled if it continues to stay bearish below these levels for next few weeks but let's watch it is still not bearish it is still on the bullish zone that is what we can see in for now look at another part see rise retracement higher highs retracement now this time it has come to the second leg of the drop this is the first drop this is the second leg of the drop and hence once it drops here it might take it again till towards 1940 50 is the next support and then 1900 these are going to remain a very very good support levels if gold resumes its journey on the downside and then 1870 levels very far out below but yes achievable now this is firstly on the daily charts and also if you look at the daily chart see just connect these dots here and if you connect the dots nothing tough there nothing hard to do you can just beautifully draw these lines and you will find this is a beautiful channel it attempted the high then lows it also one more point now see the highs here you will find that if you connect here there is another channel which is lying down there and this is the channel in which it was trading since long this time it has breached this channel so possible take just that it can try to uh, achieve the lower part of this channel which is lying at around 1900 1920 now let's have a look at the weekly charts first of all i told you here that this is a triple bottom there is going to be a good rebound and since then gold has seen a very very good rally you can see this almost a v shaped recovery this is the first part to it next part point is see lower highs second lows this is the all time high this is the second lower highs levels and this is the third attempt for it to breach past so yes lower highs for the near term are done we can see this is the third attempt for gold to stay about uh, 2000 levels at the same time you can find out lower lows so this was you can say it is still trading in this sideways zone for now multiple weeks almost two years it is trading in this zone now coming to the near term now see in the near term the rise there consolidation retracement the rise there higher highs consolidation and this is still consolidating a breakout is awaited any move below below 1970 60 zone Um, maybe 
it might bring a little more bearishness for gold in the coming few days so that is what we can look forward to wait for a breakout and then you can take your positions you can keep your positions and hence in fact for next week 1975 levels you if you see trading below 1975 and 70 you can stay short possibility exists that we may see very very soon 1940 50 and in fact we can see a further sharper drop here if it gives a breakout so that is how you can take your positions but we'll look into indicators and the other time frames before concluding it here let's have a look at the monthly chart now see on the monthly chart there is one important factor here is look at these three candles for preceding three months you will find that there is a very strong base getting created at 1800 and when you know that the base is strong the building can be of a taller height or you can stress the rise there and that is what has happened this was the triple bottom the base has created a strong base for it to rise and then this there is another base for it to rise now look at the monthly candle see in fact it has achieved higher highs but there is a probability of a pullback that is what it is trying to because it is slightly overbought and i will tell you why with the can, uh, indicators part now see where this month had started 1965 levels this candle has started from 1965 to 2050 almost almost 85 dollars of move and the price is retraced since then now once it stays below 1965 levels there could be a pull on the downside and what it may try to do is try to create a swing candle a drop here it can in fact drop till 1900 or 1880 1870 zone and then towards the end of the month probably get a little pullback close at around 1900-1950 now this is possible we can still see a good swing here and the closing with a red body at around these levels this is very much possible because right now i can see a downward pull here. hence the zone at 1940-60 levels is going to remain a decisive zone below which further stronger bearish move can be expected now let's have a look with the help of indicators what are the indicators are suggesting here now first let's talk about the Bollinger Bands. The Bollinger Band width has narrowed here. Uh, it is trying to sustain, trying to, you know, it, there should be a breakout sooner or later so that the width can expand. Right now it is trading with a very narrow margin, very narrow zone and it is trying to consolidate. This is what we can uh, see from the Bollinger The super trend is still a buy with the support at 1950 then look at the moving averages so far it these were diverging this is the exponential moving average and these were divergent so far now it has come to flatten here almost flattened trying to rather converge so uh, we'll wait for a good move so that they can converge now look at the moment see so far gold was diverging the price was diverging from the 20 period moving average then this convergence then divergence now it is in fact trading below the 20 period moving average this is also a slight bearish sign now look at the stock stochastic this is comfortable here it is neither overbought nor oversold the MACD the MACD is divergent bearish and it is still looking down now see at this point I told you see it is overbought here you can see this was the previous high then a v-shaped recovery it has come back to these levels now it is looking downwards and it can stress the journey for a little while remember this fact it can stress the journey for a little while on the downside and this is also one of the bearish sign RSI is looking down here and that is also another indication there the, the prices might try to pull back but look at weekly charts the picture the scenario is completely different but on the weekly charts to see the crossover of the moving averages has happened here and this is a bullish sign all the three are trading with divergence second part see the divergence here the convergence to the moving average divergence here then possible convergence to the moving average is possible and uh, right now if you look at this is the first red candle and the second red candle if it gives a breakout below 1970 then we may see a very very good drop so we have to be watchful for a breakout only and only a breakout is something which can bring the indication now what if it rises what if it still stays bullish because the monthly candle is still green and it can continue trading bullish from here remember then at the levels at 2010 2020 only and only if it trades below beyond 2020 levels you can say that it is breached this channel and it is going to fly high for 2050 levels stock i stick here on the weekly charts was overbought right now trying to look downwards 
the MACD here is extremely bullish trying to converge a bit. See here also it was trading with divergence converged here now also trading with divergence possibility of a convergence exists. See it is still lagging from the highs it is still far below the highs what we had seen in the recent past or last two years. So yes it can extend the rally. RSI is also trading near to the highs right now it started to look down. Now let's have a look at the monthly chart. On the monthly chart support there at 1800 from the 20 months average. Divergence is seen in the moving averages. It is a good sign. Yes, it was trading outside Bollinger Bands. See, it traded outside Bollinger Bands, got a pullback, traded outside Bollinger Bands, got the pullback, traded outside Bollinger Bands, getting a pullback here. And all the three times it is traded near to the highs. This, this is also an indication that uh, there is a pullback which can be expected if not this month probably then next month see what has happened here after this big bullish candle one sink candle this is what the sink candle is and similar also can be reflected this time possibility exists for this the stock stick on the monthly charts is overbought and now trying to look down the MACD but look at MACD interestingly the MACD here is divergent bullish and it is indicative that there is still lot much growth on the upside left it is not that this is going to stay here and hence Yes, if it stays about 2020, there is going to be a very good rise there. Now, the zone between 1940 and 2020 is getting much and much critical there. And now, see the width of the MACD, it is divergent. This is clear cut a bullish sign for gold. RSI is still looking upwards, it's still staying bullish. Now, we have seen the charts, we have seen the indicators. Time for me to conclude and define the trading strategy so that you can profit next week. And before I proceed to the levels, yes, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you can be part of my uh, mentorship batch 21. Now it is going to start on 1st of May. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, you can be part of my signals group trading as per the signals. Definitely, you can benefit. Reach out to me for more details. Now, first, let's talk about the levels to buy. 1991 yes you can buy at 1991 first target nearby resistance is 1998 then 2005 then 2013.5 and then 2021 if these levels are broken then you can just stay long about 2021 and again we are going to look at 2050 levels and this time in fact we can see it hitting 2075 also if it stays above 2050, it is directly going to land. So once it stays above 2021 levels, we are going to look at 2050, 2075 levels. Just stay long about 2020. Once again, I am telling you, you have to be watchful of these levels till 2020. On the downside, I will recommend you to sell here at 1975. Then one can expect that this time we are going to look at 1960. 1950 1940 now till 1940 be watchful and careful once it draws below 1940 the next target is 1921 and 1900 in fact this time it can reach it further till 1880 and 1870 and that is why below 1940 accelerated bearishness might be seen one can stay long for near future uh, we stay short for near future and possibly a little more drop can be expected and from there a recovery cannot be denied till 1870 possibility of a recovery stronger recovery exists so take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship badge join my signal channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you